Because in some areas it's, it's, you don't yeah, have clearance, there's yeah, embankments, the uh, so you, some, in some areas you can't get big equipment either. So, yeah. well, some uh, places the right of way just isn't that large. That's it. You'd have to, the trains for the tracks. So right now our plan is to try to hit every area in seven years, hit everything at least but once. The wind and everything else, I don't think. Yeah. Jerry, did you want to mention anything about I mean, Yeah, I just was well. wondering um, if you give us some specifics about Friday. Um, that seemed to be, I mean, Thursday, we know, it was a blizzard, uh, and, and guys, there was some I problems. Think they did with, a pretty good job. Yeah, for Thursday, yeah, I think Thursday. they did a, They did a great job on Thursday, except for the people out in Montauk that were four hours late, but that, that was an odd train, so, I mean, you got to write that one off, but everybody figured Friday would be fine coming in, and Friday was a complete horror show compared to, to compared to Thursday, it was a complete horror show, and... The railroad was not giving any specifics. It was just residual effects of, of the winter storm. And it's like, what was, I mean, my train was two hours and 20 minutes late. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was the longest commute I've had on a regular train in the morning in 35 years of commuting. So it was like, and we weren't hearing anything. I mean, a big thing was because of the, the cold weather, the extreme cold, and a lot of switches were freezing up in areas. And then you couldn't, you know, the, a lot of switches were freezing up. That was, that was one of the biggest things All right, let's switch in different case. areas. Now, on that day, let me go through what you and I, what I, what you and I emailed about. Um, I had a, my boss was on the train that was stuck behind another train that was disabled, and they kept saying, we should be moving shortly, we should be moving shortly, and apparently the conductors and all the staff, you never saw them in the train. You know, it's sometimes, we like information, but keep telling people we should be moving shortly, and they sat there for hours. And that's when I'd send a message to you. Do you know if any information? My boss sent a message to me. Can you find out anything? And they, you told me a rescue train was being sent out. They were the rescue train. They pushed the other guys. Oh. <coughs> yeah, they, there was no, and, they, and they sat there for another hour waiting. And they apparently pushed that other train out of the way before they could. But the thing is, the announcements were, we should be moving shortly. We should be moving shortly. And when they went to look for somebody, the, the staff locked themselves in their cabs. They weren't to be found. And you know, and it's it's, and I've seen the same thing. It's just sometimes, it just keeps you know saying we're going to be moving shortly. It's just going to get people really enraged even more and more and more when you sit there for hours on end. So, I mean, I don't know what can be done about that. It's just like, you know, we don't know. I don't know if it's better to say we 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 don't know what's going to happen. You know, well, they they should say it's uncertain. We have a serious problem. There's a disabled train ahead of us. You know, whatever it is, yeah. and and. Unfortunately, I cannot tell you when we're going to be moving because, I, you know, if you keep saying we'll be moving shortly and an hour or two goes by, but, I don't know. That's up to the railroad to decide, ultimately. But I, the information is 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 no better than it was years ago before they tried to make it better. If I find, I, I don't know. It just seems to be so. I don't know how anybody else feels about it. Uh, but how would you plan your day if, if if you're going to be moving shortly? How do you plan your day? If you the the uncertainty well, is put into we don't know how long we're going to be here. You're going to call the job right. and say, look, say, I don't know how I'm long stuck. I'm going to be I'm stuck. I, I, I have no information. That, that's, that's getting to the train. I mean, that's when you're on, on the platform going on to the train. What about getting to the train? When you're a lot of stations, there. and this is what I was about like to get to, I, I hope this is acceptable uh, to say, but the marrying of the Long Island Railroad to whoever is leasing the parking lots, as well as the sidewalk care around. I mean, there were a lot of stations, that I can tell you, on the Long Beach branch, where you could not get to the parking lot, and you had to walk onto the tracks to get to the platform. Because even though the platform might have been cleared, and the stairway to the platform was cleared, but the access to the stairway, 
was totally yeah, covered yeah, with snow yeah, and ice. Before you got here, we got 20 minutes talking about it. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. So, so uh, what, can I ask just quickly what was the result of that? Yeah, we're going to try to coordinate with them, with the towns, because uh, the town's responsibility. 60, <coughs> 60 yeah. degrees in rain tomorrow. Yeah, we'll see what's with that. Wait the for it to thaw. Yeah. It's good. I'm just going uh, to know that. You know, I mean, I, I, but the information, the information issue is still, is still outstanding. It's a big one, because the, I, 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 don't think that the story, where, the story is, is, is unusual. I really don't. I hear it from a lot of people. Yeah, because most. Thank God, in a way, thank God, it's what people expect. They say, "Oh, I don't. You can't believe that." And and they don't. You know, they don't get. They don't get all that upset because that's what they. That's the. That's the expectation of the passengers. I'm going to get crappy information, and who knows when we're moving. That's why people complain. That's one of the reasons why they complain. They feel that, that this is the way the railroad operates. That, and then it doesn't have to tell the passengers what. I guess it does. Well, I think, why, and why did that one train have to sit there for now? Why couldn't it reverse out? Get those people on their way. Why did they have to sit there for literally an hour so and a half until they could push the other train out of we, the way? We have been, discuss, sure we've been discussing these communication issues for how many years, Hector, right? The same issues. You've improved on the, the visual boards a lot. Oh, you, have the, you have the estimated time for arrival, which you never had before, and that's a big improvement. It's still lacking is, is the on, on board is still a problem. And I think it's because you don't, they don't have the information to give when they're on the board, the conductors, right? That's probably the issue. Well, we give them, but, they, they get but, information. But. All right, well, then that's that's the breakdown. So Something's we were better on the platform, so now we really need to focus on board. But we've had these complaints for... Oh, but, again, we have, an over, we have an open invitation to you folks to come in to our PIO, sit with our guys again. We have new staff and things, so they can hear some of this and get some of their ideas. And all right. We can, yeah, you because know. The, the, big, the big thing, like for us, was sometimes you had options. And people, because they had a lack of information, didn't know what to do. We finally pulled into Jamaica, and then we sat there. Okay, so do we go down and grab the E? Right, try to yeah. take this Or do we stay? Yeah, no. um, we had a situation where I was on a double-decker, and we were on one track in Belmore, America, one of those places, and we sat there for a while. They even opened the doors. An electric train came in on the other track. Mm -hmm. Do we get out and go on that one, or do we stay here? The other train closed the doors and left, and then everybody that stayed on our train was like, damn, if I went and caught that one. Yeah. You know, and I had no, to be honest yeah. with you, we had this same discussion with you guys, with us and you and Senator Schumer, who did the, and you guys did the pledge to the riders. That's in there, about giving the alternatives. I mean, we, we had this discussion, how long was that? That's probably been about six years. Six years? We had the same discussion. We had the same discussion. And in that pledge, they, and in that pledge that you guys gave, it includes this by giving information and all. That, it's all in there, so it's nothing. I'm new. sure there's a story why this, complaints. why it doesn't happen. Right, right. So we're trying to get to how do we, how do we fix it? If you're saying if not we're just getting to the to the not that your brother in transit is doing any better. Just <laughs> away. I don't. I don't that's not, the, that's not the standard we need. <laughs> <laughs> no, neither neither agency so should. I would suggest we do the next month's meeting at Jamaica. And then we could meet with the PIO. You want to try that? And then, you know, just sure. we'll have a it's conversation there. It's such a long-standing issue. I think it's a great idea. Get people are up, just for, up it. for Jamaica. Well, yeah, that's great. I'll, as long as I'll make the arrangements. We're not going to go with two people. We had this discussion earlier. Um, we will try to plan it if we have enough uh, people going to make yeah. it worthwhile for you. February. Yeah, no. yes, it's, yeah, you're right. It's Valentine's February. Day. Valentine's Day. Great. Okay. Oh. Uh, Valentine's Day? No, February. <laughs> we we've had, we've had, we've actually had meetings on Valentine's Day. We have. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They weren't going in hot cookies. Yeah. They were not. They, 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 they people left early. They had yeah. other places to be. Well, they'll be in Jamaica. Be close to home. So. Yeah. <laughs> but this one, is, this one's on, this one's on the eighth. Make this is solo, man. Okay. We're right. So we're, we're, getting, we're, we're, we're going to be available. We're getting behind that. I promise everybody else. Jamaica's well. There's um, some interesting well, restaurants in Jamaica. Two two things. Um, Bill, can you give us a quick one restaurants. because now we're running behind time. Okay. Yeah. Just yeah. the state of the state. Just give a the state of state. What, 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 he, he, the, uh, basically, the governor did not say much about about transportation. What he did say about transportation is Dan Kenny needs more money, and he's got the, he's got this fix NYC panel 
in, in place that's going to come out with recommendations on congestion pricing. I've been trying to ask uh, the councils what they feel about congestion pricing. You can email your thoughts on it to, uh, to me, but we need to, we need to figure out what a, you know, what kind of a stance we're going to take uh, about uh, about anything that comes out on Tuesday is when this thing is going to be, when the uh, recommendations are going to be released from this Fix NYC panel. Um, so, you know, if you have if you have things that you're that are <coughs> particular concern, concerns, let me know um, so that we can you know, when we end up crafting something something. You'll, to say about it, um, you know, we can we can wrap, wrap those into the wrap those into the, the issues. What we're what what the advocates are doing this year is that they're they're trying to they're trying to say look at look at some of the areas that have had the most opposition, and and um, you know point out how few people from those areas actually drive into the into the city, um, and they're trying to diffuse some of the opposite some of the opposition that way. So they've got some, yeah, they've got some destination, origin destination data, and they're looking at that. But uh, you know, anything that you, anything that you, any thoughts that you have on this, please, you know, please reach out to me and let me know, uh, because I'm trying to talk to each of the councils and get get thoughts from everybody, uh, so we have an idea of where we stand, and we don't have somebody saying, you know, no, I don't agree with that, when we, you know, when we're out there talking about congestion pricing. If you want to. Just something we need to keep in the back of our minds, though. One thing that was brought up in the state of the state was, this is not a good year. We're looking. I think they're looking at a four billion dollar deficit right now. Yeah. So there's not a lot of play money to you know to, to spend on stuff. So they're they're looking to cut back, not add things. So right. No, it's, We're gonna it's, have to fight for whatever we get. Well, plus with the new tax plan and all that, they don't even know how those numbers can factor in yet. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. No, they could go to six billion dollars. Yeah. He said that Santa Claus didn't come to Albany. Basically, no. that was that was that was one of the laugh lines from the thing. But but yeah, it's they want to probably whatever excess transit gets gets is going to have to be from a new revenue source, which you know right now is congestion pricing. Uh, that's and that would be that that would be the way that would be the way they raise any new revenues. Uh, and there's going to there's going to continue to be pressure on things like payroll mobility tax. I mean, people are still pissed off about that. And they want it. They want it gone. And the um, the state, you know, state has has other has other prob problems. So getting them to reimburse uh, losses from the MTA, you know, is is, is dicey. Losses to the MTA is dicey. I run with a lot of people who complain about the surcharges, the MTA surcharges that appear on their bills. Like, we don't commute. They don't commute, and it's true. Many of them don't commute. Well, you know, the, the, that is interesting. One of the issues at the MTA board meeting, I didn't mention it, is in relation to third track, is value, what they call value capture. In other words, well, let's face it, you, you have transit, the real estate values next to transit are much, much higher than places even, you know, two blocks, three blocks, a mile, two miles away. Transit increases the property values tremendously, and the MTA gets very little from that. They do get some money from that. There's mortgage recording taxes, there's transfer taxes, but... Um, you know, in, in other places around the world, they've 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 used property taxes to fund capital, and property taxes are near like near near transit improvements. <coughs> and um, you know, that's, that's is that really true that the closer you to the track, the higher the uh, oh yeah, really big yeah. time. So you don't think it'd be the opposite? Big time, uh, closer to the station. Station. Track, the I don't think if like, you're one block away, away then you don't want to you don't from the really actual track. The trains, yeah. The track. I think yeah, businesses. I would think it would be one of these things. You know. You're near the track. It would well, be if you're a adjacent point. to the track and you're at residential use, which is kind of a zoning mistake, uh, then then yeah, that's right. Nobody wants to live. Nobody wants to live. Right. So why, that's why I'm I live. Although I don't know. I, I, I live. I live on the West Hampstead line. It doesn't about affect my property values. values. Yeah. I live a block away. It doesn't affect my property. Values. I can walk. And neither through. the people closer. There's people who I, in my neighborhood who live closer. I don't think their values is, is Queens. I mean, I had no idea. That's why I, when you said that, I was just. Surprising. But it's it's astro it's no. astronomically higher in your transit no. everywhere. If you're near a uh, point of access, like a sta you know, if you're near a station, it's, it, it really helps the value. Yes, the stations. It's the access to, to, to transit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, that. no, I agree. Yeah. But these are folks who don't own homes. They, you know, they really don't. They have no investment in the community, and they say, I don't, you know, I don't commute. Why do I got to pay surcharge? <laughs> on my on my on my yeah. utility bills. Tell yeah. them I don't have kids in school anymore. 
<coughs> that's that's the yeah. thing to hear too yeah. about yeah. about yeah. the billable tax, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, now we're going to turn over oh, okay. to until they sell their property. Uh, is it true because of the federal tax thing we're going to lose the commuting? Yes. All right. That's uh, no, no, no. Well, no, no, no. no that's, that's my, that was my understanding, but I wasn't one hundred percent sure. That's why I'm bringing it up. Okay. No, the, the, it's a, the, the bike of the news. No, I heard parking and transit. Trump, Trump, and I was surprised parking. Trump thing. They want. He want. They repeat plan on taking it all the way. Everything. Everything. I mean, I don't. Well, know let me look at it. I, I, I thought the bill. They look like. Uh, Thank God they took away parking. It's ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. Stuff like parking. Okay. All right, I'm sorry, I want to get, sorry, back, to, okay. get back to acting. We discussed, you know, just over the next six months, what projects are going forward? Or, I'm actually going to do it. Great. So I, just, I know I asked them, but uh, <laughs> that are going to affect, you know, are going to affect writers, just sure. know what's going on. So uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Ryan Attard. I started working with the Long Island Railroad and the Government Affairs Office um, in October. So um, thank you for having me today. So I'm just going to start off with we're going to be uh, doing outreach for our Enhancement Station initiative. So it's going to be, we're going to be awarding a contract in February and probably starting construction at eight stations, uh, spring, early summer. The stations that we're going to be starting out with is uh, Merrick, Belmore, East Hampton, Deer Park, Brentwood, Syosset, Farmingdale, and Stony Brook. Um, after that, we're probably going to, around April, award the second contract, and that would be for Great Neck, Northport, Valley Stream, Ronkonkoma, Baldwin, Bayside. So we're going to be starting to do outreach, and um, as we start doing the outreach, we're going to go and make meetings probably with the town officials, community groups, and let them know about what enhancements are happening, show renderings, and describe that. Um, we will also let them know how it's going to be impacting their commute in the morning, how it will affect their station house. Will we get to um, before those meetings? I, I have uh, you as <laughs> one of my points of outreach. So um, I'm going to be working on that project, and I'd like to kind of sit and, and I'll communicate with you, and if you want to let the board know, yes, or if absolutely. I could send a board message, absolutely. whatever you would prefer. Cool. So can I just step in? So one of, on some of these is, if we're doing the station waiting rooms in them, that means it's going to be closed for a few months while they do that work. So that's, that's how that would impact right. riders. So there, will there be any kind of alternative, like contemporary? In, in um, stations that have ticket offices, they will have a trailer that has ticket offices for, for situations like that. Otherwise, that's why they're doing it in the spring and summer, to uh, alleviate some issues with the cold and not having shelter. What, what, is this, what do they entail? Each, each one is different. So some of them, the minimum is just like, Wi-Fi charging stations, new light fixtures, some artwork and stuff, just like sprucing it up. Work. Um, some some of them are going to be requiring platform work, um, so we will be giving the breakdown of each of those, and we I can see. share that with you. Um, that, that's that's the important is the, is the platform work. The cosmetics, not so much. Yeah. It's, but I know we've had a lot of complaints about Hicksville about the way they were handling yeah. the structure of the platforms and stuff, so, like so it's important. That Stewart Manor was already underway. We did the station building last summer. We finished it. Uh, Tuesday, they're going to start the platforms. There's two platforms there. They're going to close half of one at a time. So it's going to be done in four sections. So you can, each section is going to be closed for about two months or so, roughly. Will any of those work involve LRA's escalators? Or? Not as part of this. Not as part of this. What if I um, to the Hicksville platforms, all the cracking and all that kind of stuff? What's going on with that? Th those cracks were repaired, so and brand new ones have to get repaired. <coughs> Some issues popped up. They repaired them, and then uh, there's going to be a top coat, like a sealer put on top, you know, like a finished coat. And then you won't like so. The the fix it looks like it wasn't fixed, but it's fixed. But it was like a the the stuff is like clear, so you you see the cracks, but it's it's already been filled in with some whatever well, they what used. What caused the I mean, is it? Cement. Just pour cement. Just pour and pour. Yeah, but is 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 how long is it going to last? Is this this is acceptable? I, I mean, know. someone looked at it. Someone said the contractor, you know, this is an appropriate. I guess it was. The, the fix was approved, I suppose. Yeah, the the contractor is liable for the the fix, and he's still is still under the, the whatever the warranty. Right, right that's stuff. nice, but five years from now. I mean, Jamaica was 100 should've, years should've before they poured new platforms. Torn up and redone. Redone. Well, no, I don't know. I'm I don't know. I'm not an engineer. That's the question. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. Well, the same issue happens. Like, what about all the cracks on the West End Concourse here? I mean, that, that old nice marble floor, wherever the hell that floor is, is 
there's a lot of crocs going through it. That's only what one year old. Not even six months. Maybe uh, six months. And it's Terry's area. Right? It's Terraza. Every time I've seen Terrazzo within a few years or something. Well, oh, this is like less than a year. Okay, yeah, I know, no, I know, but I'm terrible with time. It's, it's, it's craftsmanship because I've been in school yeah. school buildings that are 50 years old and Terrazzo looks like the day it was born. So, I mean, you know. Not, it's, I'm a, not, yeah. it's a concern. Yeah, it's a concern. It's a concern. What's going to happen two years, three years from now? Well, when we build a platform, it has to last. 20, 30 years. Right. That's, yeah, that's, that's, that's our concern. <laughs> yeah. Hicksville didn't even make it two months. <laughs> and then they cracked. So. And what's happening with the uh, Hicksville? Hicksville the so Hicksville is still on target to be completed fully by this summer. Well, what about the uh, shelter for the waiting room thing? You know, the platform, the, uh, the enclosure. Right? That's been delayed. I mean, it's just, it's just they're, they're, we're having issues with the contract right now, so... That some of that work is that should have been done. The escalators, the new escalators, that should have been done. They're not moving as. Well, I'm just letting you know that uh, this weather, people, are, it's, it's a big issue. Now. Yeah. Because the waiting room is downstairs. You don't want to wait to run up for the train, so they're upstairs and there's no escalator. Can you take a step back just for a second? You mentioned about uh, the uh, station houses being closed. Is that on certain uh, locations entirely where the restrooms? will also not be accessible? Um, for and, one to two month periods, And if yes. that's so, are they going to be, for lack of a better term, uh, a pot of, pot of sands uh, uh, placed outside that, that will be... Uh, not to my these? knowledge. And that's why they <coughs> want to try and get this project See, expedited. No, no, normally, like when we typically do a station and we do it ourselves, you know, we close it down for six months, mm -hmm. we, we put a temporary trailer or bathrooms and we do that stuff. But these are, each one is going to be for two months because this is like an, ex an expedited schedule. Right, but still people could yes. use the yes. bathroom within two months. So, so along with the train riders, of course, the platform accessibility, the station house availability, the restrooms that are part of the station houses in, the, in our cases. And uh, I would think that would be a significant uh, inconvenience to those that, that use that particular station during those two months, especially if we're talking spring and summer where people, uh, depending on temperature, they, they move towards the comfort of the station house for the air conditioning as well as to use the bathroom. So uh, that would be definitely a concern of not just the council but also uh, communities uh, like civic groups and, and those type of councils. I think that's one of the things you're going you, you're gonna to possibly face. <coughs> You put porta potties yeah, in, you know, accessible porta potties in there. Well, that would, that would. So we're gonna we're gonna get ahead of time. I'll sit down with you guys and we're gonna go through each of the projects, right? And give our suggestions, right? Sure. <coughs> and not when even, it's, even not when it's you, already done deal, when it's before it's a done deal. Yeah. Okay. Um. Do you want to continue on station house? Uh, Whatever you want to tell us. About or I do. Do you uh, have anything uh, just, to just, uh, The other one that's already underway, it's not part of this, but it's underway, is, is Wontaw. So we, we doing half the platform. So half of it's done. Half of it is done. Mm -hmm. It's going to be, it's gonna be uh, we're going to go to the second half, probably end of February, early March. And then it's going to be done again in the summer. It's going to be completed. <coughs> and that's when, that wasn't accessible before, so that's going to have elevators. So we, and a new, we're going to replace any old escalators. We're going to have a new escalator and an elevator for the first time. And just the people who've been at Wanto, and I've actually seen it, the platform, the new ones that they put in are so much better because the old platforms were all belling and overlapping. And if you walk on those platforms, it was so easy to trip. The new platforms are nice and smooth, and they're actually, they actually look good. Is this not the latest thing. technology with the uh, <coughs> heating element underneath also? To yes. The snowmill system in it for Hicksville and Wanto. Are these other stations where they're rehabbing the platforms not the not case? Maybe that, th those other ones are, aren't full rehab, so there's limited budget, so those are probably not going to get that. Wine Dance? Wine I believe it should. So Wine Dance, you saw that's in a way, so that's going to be again done in August. There's going to be a new, the new station building we're doing, and a new uh, elevators and a new overpass right in the middle by the station building. So you don't and have then, to go... And then where the waiting room was, what's going to be there? Parking or... That's that's part of the, the the developer owns that, where the waiting room was. So that has to be demolished, and that land goes over to the developer. Whatever I don't know what they have planned there, but 
that's not kind of that's not ours anymore. You're gonna be consulting with them on what they got there. It's part of their plan. I just don't remember what it is. Yeah, so see what's good, what they got there. Stores. Are you putting new bathrooms in the waiting room? I'm sure there is. But will they not be like now? Right now, you've got to go outside and get a key to use the bathroom. Can this one be inside without a key? Yeah, with a big tire. Is it like a gas station? Tied to it. So I'd like to know if this is going to be inside and accessible to people. Since you're redoing a new one, we make it better. We can find out. These designs, I would think they would want the community to be happy with them. And not to say uh, uh, you know, they're not, especially if you're redoing it. I mean, that's the time to to, to bring in the conveniences and the latest and comforts so that this way the community and the communities are happy. Something better than cosmetic. Yeah. Yeah. Really nice place for a poster. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that's one of the things on the stations they're getting rehab. They're going like uh, through a manner. It's being called a paperless station now because they're putting new video screens to, to put everything digitally, so you don't have all these posters everywhere. Like so mucking it up, so, so it's supposed to be look, looking more. So we can make something for the video for our. Counselor. Yes, you can have your own video. You know, if you come to Jamaica too and you meet with our PIO, it would be nice because then we can have access and show you all the renderings for all the stations. Actually, houses. next month we'll bring and renderings we and stuff for next can, next month. Just, this yeah, way you can good, see. Good idea. Yeah. Have an idea. <coughs> good idea. I just want to circle back real quick, and uh, here's the the tax the tax change. Tax change only affects people who. Where the employer pays for the pays for the community, which is a pretty small number. Most people pay pre-tax dollars, and that hasn't been affected. But they're leaving in pre-tax dollars. Pre-tax dollars are still. In fact, they went up five dollars to two hundred and sixty dollars. Wow. And parking. Uh, parking is in there too. Oh, yeah. okay. so but just your employer can't pay for it. That's it's, that's that's a change. About five percent. The employer can't get the employer a can't get a deduction. Person, people, individuals can get a deduction. Or can't or or not a deduction they do it does not count it is not part of their part of their taxable it's pre tax yeah. yeah, they so get they get So um, I just wanted to I finished with the station enhancements and we can really go over that with a fine tooth comb next month. Um, just to some other big projects that might affect you in the future. Uh, the Akaba uh, oh, in East Hampton, Akabonic and, and Main Street. There's two bridges that we're replacing. Mm -hmm. Where? In East Hampton, uh, east of the station, there's two bridges that get hit all the time, like a lot. So they're being ra replaced and raised. Uh, in next fall, so there'll be an outage next October, November, October. Okay, sounds good. That's the um, new slogan, replace and raise. Is this going to be one of those things where they do it over the one over one weekend, like they did in Westbrook? Uh, this one is a little bit different because this one they have to put the retaining walls, and each road is going to be closed for 10 days. When do you think do they're doing this? That's going to be next fall. They're working, they're going to start this, this spring, this March, to do re prep work. But then it's going to be ten, two 10 day periods where they're going to be. I just want to make sure it's not when people are going out to East Hampton. No, it's in the fall. No, no, we, we've been working with everybody out there, so it's going to be in the fall after, after the peak. They'll be at the fall on Tuesday. There's 400 the goal people is out there. to get their station house done by June, too, just so to, to get in, uh, done before this. Yeah, this so. part today. And, and another bridge is in, uh, in Locust Valley, right out of Oyster Bay. It's called Buckram Road Bridge. <laughs> I've been working out there actively since September. But we're only going to close the road in one weekend next fall. In the September. And in one weekend, it's going to be replaced that bridge. So, there's that. And then just a couple other projects. Um, uh, Murray Hill Elevator mm -hmm. Project. We're putting uh, elevators in Murray Hill. Okay. And then we also have State of Good Repair, so bridge painting, uh, bridge rehabilitation. And that's going to be Woodhaven Bridge, Stony Brook Road Bridge, Old Town Road Bridge, 47th Avenue Bridge. Um, so there's there's a lot of uh, upcoming projects um, that are going to kind of commence in March, but a lot of work happening once the weather gets warmer. And those bridges shouldn't affect service so much because it's really street level work. And, and then, some weekends, though, there will be outages for waterproofing on some of them on and weekends. And then there's also going to be outages, not outages, but there'll be busing for double track work that's going to be happening almost every weekend for the next, uh, you know. Well, this so this this month every August. weekend. 20 years. In February, there's, there's, right now there's no outages for double track in February, but it's going to be two weekends in March. Yeah, so... Oh. So, if I can jump sure. on this, sure. we're still going. Um, 
the Amtrak one with the new schedule that came out that goes through what, May? May 20, yeah, May something. Well, when that ends, will there then now be, there'll be different track work done? Yes. Or start over again, so there'll be more. There's going to be another other, another phase starting in the summer. How is that going to fit in with all the work you do? Is it all being coordinated? It's all being coordinated. And the weekends that you're closing down, I, you know, I don't want to over, we don't want to over. So what we're also doing is um, piggybacking lots of the projects based on the road closures. So we have all the departments working together to try to ease it up a little. Yeah, because it's the Amtrak work, the Moynihan work, the Harrow work, you said access work. Yeah. Well, right now we got, we got, you know, new schedule and you have second track, <coughs> the weekend closures. It's, it's a little, you know, it's... It's a lot. This, this, a lot. this, this a lot. year, this year, we haven't had this much active construction, I think, ever. This year is a big construction thing, but we have so much work happening everywhere. Mm. But there's no money. No, well, the money's there for that. Well, <laughs> this already, this already yeah, this is already budget. Yeah. No, that's, old, that's old money. I mean, most of the construction money. shouldn't affect, except for the, the pen stuff, most of it isn't affecting commuters directly, because a lot of the work is weekends or middays. But... No, I know, but... <coughs> Well, and it's especially people who don't ride the railroad as often. So it's people who are going to see a play, who probably picked well, up a timetable well, a month ago. We're talking about this weekend. You know, it's more of it's more of a weekend. Schools are closed on Monday. People are going in out on the weekend. You know, you know, it's, it's what you want. You want them on the train, so you don't want them driving. So those are the big projects that are coming up. And then one more thing, I guess, with third track. So you know, the board announced it last month. I think they're finalizing the paperwork. We started initial meeting with their outreach team. So the one thing to notice in it is it's a nine-month limited notice to proceed, which is the contracts awarded. All the heavy construction is it's not going to start till nine months from now. But in the meantime, there could be some early activities in it. But in the meantime, we're going to be going out into communities and do you know, clearing stuff, moving utilities, less disruptive stuff. But but so say next by the fall, end of summer, early fall, that's when like the real stuff happens. Like, some of the great crossings and some of the heavy work. So, questions, anybody? Great crossings. Are they going to no. close them one at a time, or are they going to close them all? So there's seven of them. I haven't seen the delay the <coughs> schedule of the proposals yet. I mean, the the real schedule yet. But we're not going to close any two in the same community. So like, Mineola has two. Westbury has like two. So we we're never going to close two in the same community at the same time. But we can do one in different communities at the same time. So like when we could do one in New Hyde Park, one in uh, Mineola, and we could do one in Westbury. And they will. That's going to be the hard part. Yeah. Well, and they will. And yeah, and that's going to be they want to get it done. With the northeast travel, north, north south travel. Yeah, that's true. But it's going to be an issue. <coughs> Any other questions? I have, I have, I have one thing. I forgot to mention. Um, that's not Georgia Board, but um, there's this, this is a group that came out with something called Rethink NYC. I think it is. Yeah. yeah. Have you seen it go? I've, I've seen it, yeah. They, they actually came by. They actually they came talk by to you guys, right? Talk to us, yeah. They have an interesting plan. Yeah. Well, yeah. we should talk about it or meet with them or something. They have a very interesting plan to Penn Station, which which involves, and they phase it out, and I think it's something worth looking at because they want to reconfigure the tracks here to increase capacity. They also talk about through running, which has its challenges, but I think that it's a sane plan as opposed to like really super pie in the sky as some places have come up with. I think they have a... They have something worth, you know, considering. I, I know I'm going to ask people at the MTA about it, considering certain facets of it, because I think reconfiguring, right, right. if reconfiguring down downstairs, as opposed to waiting, you know, for whatever 20 years for the, for the Amtrak to build its gateway thing, where everybody's going to find money. I don't know. You know, to build another station next to Penn.